Hello and welcome on shape designers and geometry lovers. Welcome to this tutorial where we will build a pentacus dodecahedron. So what is a pentacus dodecahedron? Okay, let's start with the dodecahedron part. A dodecahedron is a platonic body which has 12 sides and each side is um, a pentagon. So a pentagon is a polygon with five vertices. And on top of those faces, there is um, a pentagonal pyramid. So a pentagonal pyramid has five faces, as, let's see, we go here to the top. You see, one, two, three, four, five, five faces. And so we got the dodecahedron, which has 12 faces. And we multiply that, five by 12. Okay, so you get 60 triangular faces. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with uh, surface commands like revolve and fill, as well as curves, especially the composite as well as the intersection curve tools to create this interesting body. We will copy bodies with the help of mate connectors. All right, so let's get started. So here I am in an empty part studio. And I'll start my first sketch on the top plane. Press N for a normal view to that. P to hide all planes. S for my polygon tool. Place the origin and the origin. Make that five-sided. Give that side here a horizontal constraint. And give that any dimension. I'll take 44 and exit that sketch. All right, let's see. Our right plane intersects with that vertex. So I will draw on that right plane one line connecting to that vertex and another one connecting to the origin. Then I press E for the equal constraint. Take that side and take that one. And then make that line here uh, vertical and make that a construction line. Okay, so we got here one edge of that pyramid. I exit that sketch. Now I'll make that um, edge a curve, a composite curve. Keep that sketch number two visible and make a circular pattern of that curve, which is a feature around that axis five times. And I get all the edges of that pyramid. Next, I will use a surface command, the fill, and take um, three edges and have that surface. Next, I will pattern that one here, circular pattern of that surface around that axis five times, all right? So we got five surfaces now here, huh? 
Now I will close that off from the inside. Again, with a full command, take that edge, that one, that one, that one, and that one, merging with all, and that transforms our um, prior surface bodies to a solid part here. Here, all right. So I'll just change some appearance. Maybe that one, yeah. All right, so we got our first part. Now let's create the geometry for the uh, underlying dodecahedron. For that, um, I will revolve that edge around this as an axis and vice versa. Let me show you. I go to the revolve command. I'm in the surface environment. I take that edge here. I take that axis. I don't need a, a full revolve. I'll just take something like that, 145 degrees. Okay. And do that with the other side. So take that um, edge, that axis, again for better visibility, I'll make a one direction, 140 degrees, revolve. So we got these two surfaces, and now I want to extract that edge which is the um, the the intersection of those. So I go to that command, intersection curve, take that um, face, switch to the next group two, take that one, I got a preview, or I can see the curve, I'll hide those, and then we get that. We get the that line. So we know that our um, the next face for our dodecahedron has to be on the plane which is defined by these three vertices. So let's create that plane. Um, three point. First one, second, third. All right. Now let's um, sketch on that plane that one pentagon. So again here, five-sided. And with I, I can make that intersection of that, or that coincidence between those two vertices and those two, and everything's defined. Now I want to copy this body, or part one, over on that face here. So I, will, I want to do that with um, the help of mate connectors. I go to the mate connector command, take that origin, this is our part, have a look how that is oriented, and um, I take my my right hand and make that and curve my fingers, and my thumb is um, now turned upwards, and that gives me the direction of the rotation. So I want to rotate it in a way that that x-axis is parallel to that edge. So I go to the move command and go to rotation angle 36. There it is. 36 because that is half of those 72, which is 
um, that angle here, huh? All right. We got the first mate connector. We need another one. I can hide that plane here. So go back to the mate connector command. Take that as an origin. That same um, owner part. And we got the the x-axis parallel to that edge, so that should work. And next, let's go to the transform, copy part, transform by mate connectors. Take that part from that mate connector to that one. Turn that around, and there it is. Great. We can hide the mate connectors pressing key, K on the keyboard. And then go to circular pattern. Take that one. Take our axis here. Make that five times. And there we get half of our body. Now we need to mirror that. And we need one little um, point, which we can define in this sketch here. So I go back to that one, edit sketch 3, and take the point command and place that on the midpoint of that edge. And now I will define a, a mirror plane, plane point, take that face, take that um, point, all right, and now go to the mirror command, mirror parts, so we take all we got here over that plane. I accept that. And you might be saying, okay, that doesn't look right. Um, but we just need a revolve from the transform. So I go to the transform tool, to the rotate. I take... Um, Everything I mirrored should be six parts here. And um, rotate that around that axis again with an angle of 36 degrees. And I accept that. Maybe I want to hide that plane here. And there you have the Pantacas dodecahedron. And there you have it. We have successfully designed a Pantacas dodecahedron, an awn shape. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.